like a big yellow comet across my sky. I thought you were an angel, fire. Marriage is an institution that God first started in the Garden of Eden. And Adam was incomplete, but he saw that all the other beings in the garden had mates. He didn't have one. And so God did a strange thing. He put Adam in a deep sleep, took a rib out of his side, and made Eve. Uh, it's often been said that uh, he took the rib probably closest to Adam's heart. That in his heart he'd remember. We're going to have a word of prayer together, so let's bow our heads throughout the auditorium. Heavenly Father, what a precious sight of seeing Maggie coming down the aisle with her dad and Jordan standing beside me. A sight, a picture of the church coming to meet Christ. And truly we look forward to that day when you'll call us out of this world. Bless this couple, Lord. Provide their every need. But most of all, Lord, give them wisdom and knowledge, Father. Lord, as they adjust to each other in their life, as they build a family, as they grow older and, and sweeter in love. Just bless them, Father God. Bless Jordan with good strength and good health. They may provide a living for this family that's being formed. And I pray, Father God, you just touch him, give him wisdom, Father, in all that he does in this life. Bless Maggie, Father. Help her, Father God, to provide in their home a little bit of heaven here on this earth. May it be when they meet together after work that, Lord, you provide what they need in their life. Meet their need together, Father. Help them, Father God, and bless their home, Father, is our desire as they live to serve you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And so by the power of the state of Tennessee and the authority from God's word, I pronounce you husband 
and wife, and you may kiss your wife. <laughs> it's your bouquet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Maggie Lewis. <laughs>